Now you know when I get that feeling that time is holding me down, there's only one movie that'll stop me hitting the ceiling. Hey, hey, what's this I see? I thought this was a party! Let's dance! Oh, it's hard to believe it's been 40 years since Kevin Bacon kicked off his Sunday shoes and upended the social order of a small town through his love of dance. And there was a time for this law, but not anymore. See, this is our time to dance. Sweeping that town's reverend's daughter off her feet. Do you want to kiss me? Someday. And pushing Laurie Singer into the spotlight. What's the matter? You're beautiful. The musical prodigy that became the Juilliard School's youngest graduate. Don't stop till you get enough. Keep on. Boys, don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. But it wasn't the only instrument that brought her fame. Don't yeah. die. Look at her there. So amazing. Oh my gosh, she's so good. <laughs> well, Footloose star Laurie Singer joins us right now from New York. Hey, Laurie. Hey, how are you? Hey, hello. Good morning, Australia. Hi, Belinda. Hi, David. How are you? Thank you for having me. Well, we are pumped to have you on the show. Can you believe that it's been four decades? <laughs> No, look, it's just timeless. Wow. Well, crazy. it's maybe that it feels like just four weeks to me. feels just like yesterday. Take us back to that time then. What was it like uh, working on the film and playing the romantic lead to Kevin Bacon? Wow. It was, it was an amazing experience. It was very intense. It was an a, a astounding character, especially for that time, because it was about a young woman who really is coming onto her own and figuring out how to break free of kind of a little small town repression and oppression of her father. And she really takes the place by storm. She, she can never get enough of figuring out exactly what it is that's driving this town to be so oppressive. And um, I think it's partially her father and it's partially just the confines of that city. And then uh, it's very much like Rebel Without a Cause. It's, it's sort of a James Dean character and I was thrilled to play Ariel, and uh, it was uh, a great expression of freedom and of yearning and of justice, actually. And uh, I think she tests all the limits. She's really a, a young woman's story about, you know, about coming into your own and uh, fighting the battles. I mean, we're know? looking at you and with the incredible John Lithgow. We're looking at you with the incredible John Lithgow there as well, Laurie, which is incredible. You know, I mean, oh yeah. I mean, working with him must have been great. But what about the casting process of this? Look, this SJP. Wow. What a cast. <laughs> yes. Oh, it was amazing. It was a it was a fantastic experience. I was actually in uh, fame at the time. And I auditioned uh, quite a few times. Footloose had a huge group of people auditioning. Everybody wanted the part to play the rebel. And um, I was in fame at that time. And we were performing on stage in London in Albert Hall. And I had a choice of the last final audition. And I flew back to, New flew back to Los Angeles on the Concord, actually, and took the audition and then flew back to uh, get to take the stage in uh, London. And I found out I had the part of Ariel. So then I had to cut the tour a little bit early. And uh, the rest is history. It's yeah. so great. We, of course, love oh, that's, yeah, all that's the... Yeah, that's Mannequin. Are you looking at Mannequin? It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> love that one too. Um, of course, the sh it's known for its choreography, right? We love it. Everyone's still kicking up their Sunday shoes. Um, but is it true <laughs> that many of the cast members actually couldn't dance? Yeah, actually, I was yeah I was trained in New York, uh, actually under Richard Thomas. I don't know if you know the actor from The Waltons, a wonderful actor. Oh, wow. His father ran a dance school in New York City uh, in what now is uh, Barnes & Noble on 83rd Street and Broadway, and it was called the New York School of Dance. And I studied there for many years, and I studied with Luigi and, and you know, a lot of dance. So, uh, and then that helped me, of course, get the role of, Footlo of uh, fame. But a lot of the characters in, in um, Footloose hadn't danced before, so it was a great opportunity for them to explore that. We all were exploring so many new uh, kind of adventures uh, of growing up in a way, just like the movie. It felt very real. It felt as if we lived it. It felt as if we we really went through some intense experiences. And uh, John Lithgow was tremendous. Diane Weist, amazing. You know, and, and Kevin was, of course, you know, Kevin's fantastic. And Sarah <laughs> was also fantastic in the film. And, and uh, 
so all, all of us, it was a great cast. We had a great time. But you are an, an, an incredible talent. I mean, mm. uh, we need to talk about fame because oh, I grew you. up watching you on fame and I, it just was one of my favorite TV shows. Pre-Glee, you know, you guys really were like pre-Glee. You know, we, everyone talks about that now, but what was it like? Is, was it true that that role was written for you? Well, kind of. I mean, they sort of adjusted it. I, I sang for the for the final audition for Fame. I sang, I danced, I did the script, read the script with two or three different actors as we, you know, the, as as they gave us many scenes to read, and and um, then they sort of transitioned into when they heard me play, and I was a soloist at that time, and you know, a young one, very young one, but I was, and um, they wrote it so that Julie Miller could play the cello and dance, sort of like the real school performing arts. And I went to the real school also, um, yes. but I got kicked out. That's another story. <laughs> That's another story. But um, <laughs> I was wild. That's why Footloose really, really, you know, fits so well for me. Wow. I mean, I was, I was really wild. You were yeah. the wild girl. So you got so, kicked out of Juilliard? Yeah. No, no, no. Of, of, the, of the New York no, School. Of, of the New York. <laughs> because Performing you, arts. Because you also Performing landed Performing arts, a, high school. Yeah, right. Because you also landed a spot at the prestigious Juilliard School at the age of just 13. Oh, unbelievable. Incredible. No, I was, I was, I was, you no, know, Juilliard has a preparatory division and that's, I was in, at 14, I was studying with Leonard Rose. That's what was unusual. He only had two students uh, in the, at that age range, he was only a. He, he, I don't. Leonard Rose is one of the masterful cellists of all time, and a tremendous teacher. So I was fortunate enough to get a spot in his class of 17 students, and everyone else were graduate or postgraduate, you know, serious, you know, people. So that's. It was highly. It was unusual. I was very grateful to have that spot, and that audition was wild too. So. <laughs> you are just an yeah. incredible, an enormous talent. <laughs> We're so honored to have you on yes. here. And thank you so much for coming on the show to celebrate this movie. No, thank you so much, David. Thank you, Belinda. Great to see you all. Great to Lovely see you. Lovely to too. meet you. Thank you, Laurie.